So Mal is probably one of those characters in No Return that I had almost no desire to play as when the mode was first announced. She didn't really excite me compared to all of the other playable characters, but I won't lie, she is actually really decent, especially early on in your runs. And so today we're going over the ultimate Mal guide when it comes to No Return. As you guys can see from the character selection screen, Mal's playstyle is described as the medic. She starts off with a revolver as well as two med kits, which is very handy. And I'll actually explain why in just a second. On top of that, her tracer that she gets speed boosts from healing and then she also gets the healing upgrade branch as well which is very very handy now unfortunately she does actually start off with only three revolver rounds so that means you definitely have to play it pretty smart early on and sort of try to take out a few enemies without relying too much on bullets because you'll literally spawn in with only three bullets and that is obviously not ideal because of that you want to make the most of your surroundings for example if you are in a map where there's chained up clickers it is a good idea to actually actually release them and then let them be the ones to take out your enemies for you then they might drop some ammo for you at which point you've kind of gotten some ammo without really having to do anything so early on it is definitely best to just play it a little bit smarter than you would with most other characters because those three revolver rounds once they're gone you can be in a fair amount of trouble now with that being said you do also start off with a knife when it comes to playing mal so in those exact instances for example with the clickers you can still take out the clickers with the knife when you are in stealth and that is very very handy because because like I've said in other guides, not every character can actually do that. A stealthy playstyle is definitely best in those early stages because like I said, you don't have much ammo to fall back on. And so if you're just taking a heap of damage, for example, because you've run out of ammo and the enemies are just shooting at you and then you need to heal up and use all your med kits, then you're already within the first encounter, you've just kind of lost your main advantage that Mal has in having those extra med kits. And therefore, as of the first encounter, you're kind of already just at a disadvantage compared to any other character in the game. So stealth is key, especially early on. Later on in your run in the last few encounters, you can definitely play a little bit more aggressively if you've saved up all your ammo and stuff like that. But yeah, early on, you definitely want to play as stealthy as you can to just keep those med kits as well as kind of stock up on a little bit of ammo. Now, before we go any further, if you guys are enjoying the video so far, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on those notifications. There is plenty more no return content on the way. So make sure you don't miss out. Now, something else that is absolutely worth doing is the first dead drop that you come across and you kind of want to hope that there is one in the very first encounter. If one does happen to spawn in the first encounter, it is actually guaranteed to be a medkit drop since that will be the only item that you have or can craft. And since you spawn with two of them right away, that means you can actually just complete that dead drop instantly. You don't even have to craft the medkit. You've already got two in your inventory and then you will still have the spare medkit in case you do get in trouble. Plus, obviously you'll get a good reward if you make it through that encounter. So if there is a dead drop in the first or second encounter and it is a medkit one definitely do that because it is kind of just a free one since you already have two medkits in your inventory now something else very helpful when it comes to playing mal is that she does get a speed boost from healing as one of her traits and this is very clutch especially in modes like hunted where you're obviously under the pump and there are pretty much just enemies chasing you especially if it is infected they're pretty much just chasing you around the whole entire encounter now it doesn't sound overly good because in a mode like hunted for example it is pretty hard to find the time to use a medkit so you guys are probably thinking how the hell are you going to get the speed boost in the first place because you need time to heal and that is obviously very hard to do in hunted but if you guys can memorize on the map where the health boosts are is in the ones that are just like an item of food that can be found around the map which obviously instantly heal you what you can do is that once you've taken damage you can actually just run past them while you're being chased pick them up and then you will get a health boost as well as obviously that massive speed boost and depending on the map too you might even be able to make it through safety with that boost get back into stealth and then you can obviously heal up if you need to do so it is absolutely worth trying to take note of where those are on the map in terms of those i guess full-on health boosts not the pieces you need to make a med kit but the actual items of food that are around the map because as you guys can see in some of this gameplay they are absolutely insane the speed boost you get is absolutely crazy it feels like it is almost double your actual speed and yeah depending on the map that can be an absolute massive help now in terms of the upgrade path that you get when playing playing is Mal, you get the healing upgrade path, and this is 110% worth investing your supplements into right away. The first tier gives you double health kits, meaning that when you craft one, you will actually craft two instead, and it actually increases the amount that you can carry to four instead of three as well. So that one right there is worth getting straight away, and pretty much as soon as you've finished the first encounter, you should have enough supplements to buy that right away. So get that one done immediately, and it is definitely worth doing that before you actually craft 
craft any more med kits because obviously it's going to double the amount that you can make so if you were to make a med kit and then upgrade this then obviously you're kind of just wasting resources so try and save that for after you've actually made that first upgrade now the second upgrade in this path allows you to recover a quarter of your alcohol and rags after using a health kit meaning that you are obviously going to get a lot more out of your resources and this is kind of give you some extra resources when there are maybe no more on the map you can just use those health kits at which point you're going to be making more resources for yourself which you can then craft more health kits with it's almost like an infinite amount of health kits obviously it isn't actually infinite but you guys know what i mean you are just creating resources for yourself while healing which is something you're going to be doing anyway and on top of that with the second upgrade too you can actually use med kits even at full health now which might sound like a little bit of a waste and to be honest it probably is you should try and save the med kits for when you actually need them but it can give you guys that speed boost that i was just talking about before when you might need to get away to safety in a pinch and so those two in combination are very very handy for that second upgrade as for the third upgrade in this path this one just gives you 25 percent extra health which kind of goes without saying is very very helpful the more health you have the more survivability and the more survivability the more likely you are to complete your runs overall though mel is actually a really solid character though don't be tricked into thinking that just because you're good with med kits that you are this insanely tanky character that can't die or something like that you can heal up really well and pretty much better than anyone else in the game but you do still need to get to safe areas to do so it doesn't matter how good you are at healing if there are enemies all over you then you can't really heal safely at which point you are actually no better at healing than anyone else so don't get ahead of yourself in that regard she can be very tanky but you have to do it the right way it's not like she's just invincible or anything like that so that is definitely something worth keeping in mind but that is it for some of the best tips and tricks when it comes to playing as mal if you guys have any other tips as well be sure to leave them down in the comment section and be sure to go and check out all of the other character guides that i've done so far for no return with that being said thank you all very much for watching you guys have a great day and i'll catch you all in the next one